Hi guys and welcome to another of the DTA screencasts. In today's session we're going to be looking at StudyBlue which is one of the tools that's embedded in the web page that uh, you've been using and uh, principally this is a study tool for you to be able to prepare notes and flip cards, revision cards prior to your exams or prior to each one of the different sections. So I'm just going to walk you through how to sign up and how to access the resources and hopefully that way you'll be able to access it nice and quickly without any real problems. Alright, so let's get started. So all I've done here is click the sign up uh, icon on the top right hand side and it says you can either join with Facebook or go longhand and join with your email. So I'm just going to do, do that. So we'll just chuck in some details. Let's have let's try again. Okay, uh, so you've read that and you submit. So once that's been entered, it'll take you to basically your home page, which is this part here. And you can see up here you've got your profile and where you can log out in, and uh, along here you've got uh, what's known as your backpack. So in here is where you can actually create your new flashcards. So you can have make there or you can have make flashcards here. So let's just try and do that then. So we've got make a flashcard, let's have um, woods is the term that I'm always trying to remember. So once I've typed that in I press enter and what it will do is usually come up with a term and that it thinks is appropriate. So I've clicked down here and it says okay into the woods or woods into the woods so it gives you options of what you want now if you don't think that, that any of those are appropriate then you can just type in your own so let's say this is a, a bunch of trees so that's what I think it is and then we just move our cursor down to the bottom and then we can insert another card so let's have physical activity so what do we think that is I click down to definitions and it comes up with any movement of the body, an activity of daily living, the peripheralized movement and so on and so forth. So just for argument's sake we'll just take this one here so I can click on that and it'll move it already in there for me. So we'll just do one, one more and let's have skill. Click down at the bottom, run through it, the capability to exert uh, project related activities based on individual subject matter, skill to women's are so for argument's sake we'll just take this top one here and there what we've done now is create three of our flashcards and we can keep going and you know it's up here we can also change um, some of the some of the aspects of it, of it as well if you upgrade to pro so let's say that they're done so you just want to give it a title so we'll just call this practice three and then you select where you want it to go so you can put it in any one of the folders that you set up so we'll just put it under say physical activity privacy settings so you can have it as public anonymous password etc etc so we'll just have it as public for now and then we'll save that so it tells you that it's been successfully saved and then if you come back up to the top here you can go into your backpack and if we come down into here we can just as easily find the aspects that we were doing okay so we put it under physical activity and there we have practice three and then we can run through our cards so once we've got those we can then look at them as flip cards so what is a bunch of trees you state what it is turn over the card and you can self self uh, judge so yes I got it right next one oh no I got that one wrong and so on and so on. What it will do afterwards is tell you clearly all the stats in relation to what you got right or wrong. Do you want to study again? Study the wrong ones only. So it's really really good in the sense of focusing on what you need to do to improve which I think is really good. So just coming back to your backpack then. We'll just move back here. As you can see here it's got join class. So 
what we can do as a class is we can set up physical education as a class or we can, you can call it whatever you like what that means is we can all put resources in there that we can all use so say for example you've got a really good resource and you want to share it with everyone in the class or it could be set as a homework where I set you a study blue as a homework then you can just transfer it across into physical education one which is a class that I've set up for you so let's take something from one of the folders that I've used before so acquiring movement skills and we've got this one here so this could be any one of your folders that you've done so you would once you've looked at it and you're happy with it and I've said yes this is one I want you to submit you come down here to settings acquiring movement skill and then you just move the location so from there this is the classroom and you can see because it's got the, the icon of the pupils there move it to physical education check that it's a public setting and then save AMS move to physical education one folder so we'll go to uh, back to the backpack going to physical education one and there we go acquiring movement skills that's where you've now put your flip cards and there they are what that means is that anyone else within the class can then have a look and have a go at uh, your flip cards vice versa that also means that they can do that as well so it will come under shared materials so there you go so in essence not only are you adding on to other people's um, study resources but you're also gaining from others as well another uh, thing that you can do is you can search for something up here within uh, all of the ones that we've done within our classes so here we're, we're called the University of Sussex at Brighton and you can see down here these are the ones that I've already put on there in relation to physical activity so wherever that word pops up you'll be able to find it now you might think well hang on a second we're not at Basvik but it doesn't recognize that weirdly enough at the moment so you just type in University of Sussex at Brighton and um, I'll give you the correct class name uh, during the class session and then you'll be able to access all of these resources as well all right so hopefully that'll give you uh, a good starting guide as to how to navigate around the system and that as soon as you get set up um, I'll invite you to the class which is this this physical education one here and then we can share our resources and hopefully do really well alright any questions just see me during uh, session time and thanks very much